Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and before we get started, let's get today's shout-out out of the way. Today's shout-out goes to Ifua Nelson. He was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus one's a shout-out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here with a review of the Ishin Trash Can Micro FPV Racer. This is actually a nice little drone, uh, especially with all that you get with this little uh, machine. Um, first off, you get a really nice carrying case, folks. Uh, it comes with this. Uh, but other than that, uh, regarding instructions, you get a Xerox <laughs> instruction sheet. You know, this is not really meant for beginner flyers. This is more for uh, intermediate and above flyers who have some experience already and, and know what, what to do to get this into the air. Uh, with that in mind, you know, um, these instructions are, uh, again, for more intermediate flyers and advanced flyers. You know, beginner flyers might have a little problem with this getting it in the air. But what do you get with this? Uh, you get tons of stuff with this. You get four batteries. I got four batteries with mine at least. Uh, and these are little 300 milliamp per hour uh, LIHV batteries, you know, high voltage batteries. Uh, this drone can be flown either 1S or 2S via the use of this little shorting cable. The shorting plug actually goes in here and then you could fly this as a 1S battery with just one battery uh, mainly for indoor flying is if you were going to do that. But without the plug, uh, you can use two batteries simultaneously in this drone and fly it as a 2S flyer for outdoor flying. Now, with these LIHV batteries, you're going to need an LIHV charger. And sure enough, uh, Ishin has provided you with one. This can charge both LIHV and I believe that LiPo 2 with the flick of this switch here. Uh, I can't really tell which direction is for LIHV and which is for lipo i'm gonna to have to get a magnifying glass to see that but uh you do get this lihv charger uh other things you get in the in the box you get your set of tools you got a screwdriver you get a prop puller and you get a little allen wrench for adjusting various things on the drone you also get uh, three sets of tiny screws here for the various screws that are used on this drone uh, you get a full set of spare props you get an xt30 connector and you get some little foam pads uh, for helping uh, install the batteries in there a little more tightly. I would recommend just wrapping a rubber band around the drone to hold those batteries in tightly because they are kind of loose uh, when you stick them in there without the pads or alone. They can fly out easily. But again, if you just wrap a rubber band around this thing, that holds these in very well also. Let's go over the drone. That's the main thing we're reviewing here. Now, this drone, again, it can be 1S or 2S power, uh, powered. You get this power bridle here for 1S or 2S flight. Again, via the use of that shorting plug to switch it to between 1S and 2S. Um, additionally, let's go from the top to the bottom. You get a CADX, C-A-D-D-X, EOS 2 camera. This is a 1200 TV line camera, folks, uh, so for very high resolution, and also it has wide dynamic range, so this should work well uh, flying through shadows and, you know, going from high contrast through co high contrast areas. This should be able to discern details in, as such. Uh, the video transmitter with this in, inside here is a 2500 or 25 and 200 milliwatt switchable FPV transmitter. Uh, it includes beta flight or uh, on-screen display that can be configured via be beta flight. Uh, with that, it also includes smart audio, so you can control this transmitter, you know, adjust the different channels, different frequencies of the transmitter, uh, and also uh, different power levels. You can switch between the 25 and 200 milliwatts using your controller to adjust that. Uh, the motors on this are uh, TC0803 brushless motors. They are KV16000 motors. Uh, additionally, there's a 6 amp uh, ES, 6 amp uh, continuous 7 amp maximum ESC on board this drone and it has built-in receivers for uh, free sky and fly sky DSM 2x and along with uh, telemetry for all of those which <laughs> is pretty impressive folks I'm surprised so that's the drone a pretty neat little micro FPV racer uh, ready to go out of the box we're going to go actually I had to adjust some of the switches on my controller to uh, my liking but we'll see how they work out so let's take it out in the field though and see how it performs folks that's that's what we really want to see how does this thing fly so let's go do that good morning quite 101 and we are out at one of my favorite flying uh, spots here 
before this uh, little Ishin trash can. Uh, notice how I got the batteries installed here. I just wrapped a rubber band around the belly here to hold those uh, batteries in place, and it does a relatively good job. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, though, in the uh, tabletop review is that this has a Crazy B F4 flight control board loaded up with, in Betaflight with 4.0.0, dated 11 December uh, 2018. So it's a relatively new uh, uh, software on board the aircraft. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention is this camera can be point, easily pointed up or down. Uh, right now I got it pointed up about 35 degrees or so. Um, you know, for depending whether you're flying indoors, you want to have shallow angle, or if you're flying outdoors and fast, you're going to want a, a high up angle. So I'm going to start out with that angle, see how it performs. Uh, we're going to fly uh, line, angle line of sight first, and then we're going to switch to FPV acro. And, and I got another set of batteries, and we're going to finish the second set of batteries in FPV acro also. So putting the aircraft on the ground, and I already have it bound to the transmitter, and arming the motors, and again, we are in angle mode right now. So, okay, and let's see it up close. There it is up close, and I got a wind from my right, so that's why it's tilting to the right, so let's punch it. Oh, it didn't like that punch. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there, folks. It's probably brown knot from my transmitter being too close. <laughs> Let me move this away. Let me move it further away, folks. <laughs> Actually, it's right there. should be fine. Let's try it again. And arming. And take into the air. Okay, what's happening? What's happening? Something blocking that? Okay, folks. One thing I noticed is... The cable from this, <laughs> the wires here, can wander, you know, these, this power harness can wander into the way of the propellers, uh, ex namely the back right propeller in my case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to tie that down or tape it out of the way some, somehow so that doesn't happen again. Hopefully that'll correct it. Hold on. Okay, I'm hoping that uh, kept it or moved the wire out of the way of the uh, propeller. Let's take the air again. Much quieter now. That's better. And punch it. <laughs> Very punchy drone. Let's bring it in again. Bring it closer. And we'll do that one more time. And then we're going to switch to FPV. Turning it. And wow. Wow. I mean, I, wow. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'm excited. Let's go into FPV and see how this performs. So hold on, folks. Let's land it here and switch to FPV. Because this thing's a little screamer. Screamer. Very good. Okay, we are ready to go FPV here. Let me adjust this on my head a little bit better so I can see it a little bit better. A little bit more, actually. There we go. And switching to acro and arming the motors and taking to the air. And let me get a feel for it first, folks. Going around the pole, as I normally do. Checking the RSSI as we go around the pole. Looks good. Coming down lower. Let's go low and fast first. I'm tilting my head up. For the second flight, I'm going to raise that camera up even more so we can go even faster. I'm tilting my head a bit. Oh, I lose the signal there. It's flying blind. So I was, you know, the range on the FPV transmitter, probably I'm going to need to bump that up too for the second flight, folks. I'm going to switch it to 200 milliwatt for the second flight. But for this flight, let's just try to toss it in around. <laughs> Come it around. We're just going to toss it around for this flight. So it's it's actually a nice performer. It's got lots of power. Lots of oomph. Coming down through the trees. Through the trees. Again, I'm going to look, raise up the camera even more for the second flight here and raise up the power level of the camera. So let's try it going around. Just Line it up and then right around there. And coming around again. So again, right now the camera angle is too, for my personal taste, too low. And uh, the power level of the camera needs to be raised up a bit. And I'll do that for the second flight. And, you know, I got to stay close in other words. We're at 6.3 volts. I want to see how much flight time we can get out of this. These two batteries. So far, you know, it's pretty good flight time. I better slow down these rolls. 
a little too fast on the rolls there and I'm overshoot. Okay, power's coming down. 6.0, we're gonna land it. And I'm gonna switch to second battery here. That's close enough. Switch to second battery and we are gonna take, while we're sitting right there, I'm gonna show you real quick how to, I'm gonna switch the power level since, okay, we're disarmed. Uh, what you do folks is move the throttle stick up and to the left and the pitch roll stick full up and that enter, well, let's do that again. And we are in the menus. And then I go down to features with the right stick. Go into the features by pushing to the right. Go down to video transmitter, push to the right. Go down to power level and we're gonna switch to 200. And then go down to set and then confirm yes. And we are at 200 and also it changed the frequency. Obviously it was a different frequency, hold on. Let me do a quick scan with my goggles to get the new frequency. There we go. So we were ready to go. Let me put two new batteries in and let's see how it flies. Uh, and also I'm gonna raise up that angle of the camera. Okay, we are ready to go here. I am going to acro and I am going to arm it. And we are armed, let's take to the air. Come down low and fast. That's what I want to do. And I have it set at 200 milliwatt. Still seeing a little bit of complete or buzz, but let's go bias fast. And we're going to go around the pole. See how the reception is going around the pole. Looks good. Okay, let's come down by us real fast. <laughs> Fun little bugger. I mean, little machine. <laughs> yeah, the trash can reminds, it reminds me a lot of the Mobula 7. Um, although, you know, I'm seeing a lot of scratchiness on the, the reception here. I'm not sure why that is, but, you know, we are at 200 milliwatt right now. So coming down low and fast again, I want to do low and fast. Going around, going around, pushing forward a little bit more, picking up a little more speed, a little more speed. Any more throttle. Up, 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 up. Can we take off again? <laughs> yeah, there we go. So the batteries apparently stayed in there. That crash. The rubber band worked well. Zoom. What I want to do is go zoom, zoom, zoom. It is a fast machine. Keep this motor clean. Go this way around the pole now. The trash can, you know, got a lot of press, probably rightfully deserved. It can move. Reminds me of the Mobula 7 too, the low battery. Really low battery, or is it just me for pushing? It's just me for pushing it, we can still go for it. Some more. I'm gonna take it easy though to get Get a little more flight time out of it because the flight time is about two and a half minutes, it appears. Maybe three. Maybe I can get three out of it. We'll see. If I slow it down a bit, going up a bit more, slowly going up. And I better land it. Land now. Okay, I will. Close enough. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. So, close to three minutes of flight time with it. Um, which is not bad, but not spectacular either. Um, but it is a fast little machine. Let me take that from you, my love. And I was relatively close to the landing pad. <laughs> you, the one bad thing about when you point, point up the camera real high, you can't see the ground when you're coming in for a landing, folks. So you got to guess it. So that is the trash can, folks. A very fast little machine. Got a lot of power, a lot of oomph. And... Uh, kind of like it. So hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out. I didn't show you the Cylon bar in the back. Wait a minute before you sign out. <laughs> Cylon uh, and there's a little trash can on the back too. So that's it.
Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.